Okay, so we've gone for that arm and guillotine again, and maybe I'm not getting it. So we need to transition to something else. So we're going to hit a butterfly sweep off of the arm and guillotine. So I've already dropped back into my arm and guillotine position like we just talked about. So my legs across and my other leg is over. From here, she steps that leg up or she kind of comes up on her toes to drive into me. From here, I'm going to take my top leg out and I'm going to hook. From here, I drop and I put my toes on the floor and I'm going to sweep. And I'll come to mount and finish the choke. Let's get another angle. Arm and guillotine. She gets up on her toes to try to alleviate some of that pressure. I make some distance with my inside shin. My other leg's going to come underneath and I hook at the knee. Now I'm going to drop this foot to the floor so I can push and come across the mount. Let's get another angle. Arm and guillotine. Here, she starts getting on her toes. That makes it harder for me to get her off of me. My foot comes under. Hook at the knee. Drop. Push. And that'll take me right into my mounted arm and guillotine, which even if it's not fully under the neck, there's such a compression choke there, you can usually finish it. 